Right, today we've got a Valent Ecotec Plus. We're gonna be doing a strip down service on it, which means undoing the gas connection, gas valve, fan, taking the burner out, giving the main heat exchanger full clean, and then doing our 26.9 checks. Just undoing the gas connection first. Gas has already been isolated and patents testing and done at the meter. And do the fan silencer. Don't know why that's so stiff, someone's probably put it in correctly before. Right, that's out, leave that there. Do the electrodes and do the electrics. Burner out, and that's the main heat exchanger inside. So it's not too bad considering this boiler is 11 years old. But well, well due a strip down service, and the graphite seal there is flat as a pancake. So I'm going to change that over, give the electrodes a clean, clean the burner, and clean this out as well. Right, so all we've done is. From the Valent G10 seal packaging, just cut out the circle so that it protects the insulation at the back whilst we're cleaning out the inside of the main heat exchanger. It's hot. You can see the water's evaporating as soon as you hit it. So this is just to show you the difference already, just having cleaned the bottom bit compared to the top. So we're just gonna carry on cleaning all of this and then be right back. Right, so that's cleaned out. You can see it's a lot better than what it was before, though it wasn't actually too bad to begin with. Just gonna flush it out, whatever residues left in there, that'll go down into the condensed trap, which will then clean out as well. Okay, now the main heat exchange is clean. We're just gonna change over the G10 seal. So that's the new graphite seal. And that's the other one. We're just gonna remove that out. Put the new graphite seal in. Electrodes come with a new uh, gasket as well. So we change the gasket when we clean the electrodes. Um, this one is for the old heat only boilers, the 415s or 4 series. So we don't need that on this. Um, and then you change the fiber washer for the gas connection. And also your four heat exchanger bolts, you change them as well. Right, so you get a bit of copper grease uh, with the G10 seal packaging, so you just want to make sure that you put around the heat exchanger nuts. What that does, as that heats up, it stops this from creaking and, uh, and stuff, so you make sure that you don't get any noise. 
kind of like radiators, is um, when you put hang them on brackets you have the little plastic pegs in there so that when they heat up and cool down you don't get that clicking sound same sort of thing with this because that's metal on metal uh, also if you do any mechanical work uh, when you're doing brake pads you always put a bit of copper grease so it stops any noise uh, coming with the metal on metal contact forget the clip for your fan silencer on the other valence it will be on the left hand side these ones on the right hand side if you forget that it just means you've got to take it off and you only realize when you come to put the fan silencer back on now these nuts are meant to be these nuts they are meant to be tightened up to I believe seven Newton meters if you've got a torque wrench that helps I don't so I usually just tighten them up until I feel them go tight enough and then nip it up a little bit more and that should be good right so remove the electrodes as you can see the fiber gasket it just crumbles it's crumbled off the main heat exchange as well so what we're going to do is literally with a wire brush clean off the gasket and also give the electrodes just a little bit of a light brush you don't have to go mental with these They're cleaned up and pretty much most of the gaskets come off there already. Just brush off the rest of it there. There's your gasket. Seals go in. So electrodes go in. And then just want to make sure that you get this straight. You don't want to cross-thread anything. Oh. Okay, that's all back together by the silence of the tube. Well, we'll get that back in a minute. Um, so we're gonna do a tightness test because we've interrupted the gas supply here. We did one before, it was fine. Now we're gonna do another one to make sure that this seal is all good. Um, and then we're gonna do our maximum rate, minimum rate, um, working pressure at the boiler, at the meter, um, and basic 26.9 checks. And that's how you do a strip down service on a valent.